When Jean and Eric Hoffman met Graham Hawley, years ago, he mentioned to them that he was assigned to a very special unit in the Royal Air Force, but at the time they did not give it much thought. It was only in their last cruise, in 2018 that they were able to take Graham up on it, and asked him if he would like to give them a short interview, so they can learn more about the secret mission. Operation Grapple was a set of four British nuclear test series of early atomic bombs and hydrogen bombs, carried out in 1957 and 1958, at Malden Island and Kiribati, formerly, Christmas Island. The seven-strong team, travelled from England, and after a short break in Honolulu, took a short flight to Kiribati, former Christmas Island. From Cassidy International Airport in Kiribati they flew on a British Dakota plane to unload the transmission equipment for the mission in Malden Island and settled in. Hello Skipper, hello navigator, half a minute to go, okay. Uh, hello engineer, Skipper here, yeah, will you put the revs up please? Yeah. In 2018, Eric and Jean caught up with Graham. And here is his story. Yeah. What were you doing with the camera in the 50s? No pepper camera. No, the well, you did have cameras. Yeah, but yeah. not many people had them, didn't they? No, well, no, but my first one I bought in Gibraltar in 55, which cost £7, 10 shillings or something like that. And it was a two and a quarter square agfa where the bellows came out. And then you had to do this, that, and the other and wind it on. And then when I went to Christmas Island, I got rid of it because obviously 35 mils is a thing. So we go to um, Christmas Island, and there we had, you know, a, as a group, as an Air Force group, contacts in Hong Kong, where you could buy these uh, cameras by, by mail, by post, and they would be sent out, and. Um, I, I then bought, we all wanted 35 mil, so we bought the 35 mil cameras, which were, you know, it's a good price. Um, and of course, they still, you still had to wind them on and do certain things, and you had no idea of what the focus would be or anything like that. So, you know, these were 35 mil cameras, but quite primitive, really. The, yeah, but you're talking about ni 1956. Not many yeah. people had cameras no. at the time. No. Well, Not everybody had a camera. Well, of course, we were abroad, so therefore we could buy them. And then we were, what, were well, you a keen photographer even then? Well, I started, but the film then, as I said the other day, was 10 ASA. That was Coda Color. You need a lot of light. You need a lot of light. And these are all taken on 10, uh, 10 yeah. ASA film. Coat of colour. Um, they look quite sharp, some of them. Well, they look because you've seen them small. Small, yeah. yeah. And really, these are taken from 35 mil slides, so you're losing something all the time. And the slides themselves are very old now. As you can imagine, they're 50 years old. And where, where were these pictures ta taken? Right. In Graham. Okay. We might be ready now. That's it. Right. Well, obviously. Being on Christmas Island, we flew out uh, from Christmas Island to this place called Malden Island. It's just in the Pacific. What I should really do is show you a, a map if I've got one on this page. Yeah, here we are. That's a globe of the world. And here is Hon there's America, Pacific, uh, Honolulu, Oahu. Whereas you have Pearl Harbor and Hickam Field. Yeah. And then you come uh, 1,200 miles down here to Christmas Island, which is called Kalabati, which is the largest atoll in the Pacific. And then you come another 600 miles down here to Malden Island, which is an island which is absolutely flat. No trees in it, as you will see. And the equator is round about where the arrow is now. Wow. So, so that was hot. Yeah, it was hot, but don't forget you, you're at sea, uh, or rather an island, so you're getting the breezes all the time. It's not like when you go to Panama and that sort of thing. 
but yeah, it, it is warm, but there are worse places to be. And this is a shot of Morgenland itself. And you see there's a big lagoon there. There are no trees. There's the airstrip. And here's where our camp was. Uh, obviously these are taken from Google, but this gives you an idea of what it is like. A very small it, island. Yes, a very small island, one mile across. Uh, uh, it's an atoll again. And the nearest point of civilization was 600 miles away, which was Christmas Island. And that wasn't civilized, as you will see. And then the nearest point to that was Honolulu, which was 1,200 miles away. So it's quite a distance to get to these places. And don't forget, in those days, it was all pissed and aircraft. There's an idea of it, uh, a sketch, showing what it's all about. Well, so we flew out there from Christmas Island in this Dakota. How many of you? Uh, I think there were seven of us. So seven of you only seven went of us to this island? Week. Yeah, that's it. And we took off, we went down there, and this is obviously taken from the co-pilot's uh, position. Uh, there were no seats on the aircraft. No seats. I've got, a, I've got photographs of black and white and trailer in there. The seats were about uh, that wide and that much in depth. And there were a bit of canvas on the side of the aircraft. So that's where we... So there weren't any business class on it? <laughs> <laughs> and nobody came around with drinks no, or anything? No. <laughs> no? Oh, we had, hang on, we had a big glass with coffee in <laughs> So obviously we flew out there, and here we are coming into Morden Island. The airstrip, I think, might be down here somewhere. And over there is the camp where we stayed. And here we are coming in further to that point, and just shots of the island itself. And there's the aircraft we were flying in, which is, as you know, Dakota, radial engines and all that sort of thing. We've seen something like that in the Oriental Museum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He said that there's uh, something in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you've got, you, what you've got, you've got to go next time and see the aircraft that dropped the bomb. Yeah, the one who, who actually had the bomb on. And this is the beach there, a modern island. You'd never put your feet in that water. I see. No, it's the undertow. They lost a duck and they lost a um, bulldozer. Oh, really? The undertow was so, you could hear it. It was sucking out the sand, it goes oh. as it went out. You know, the wave came in and it So you went in, you probably wouldn't come out. You wouldn't come out, without a doubt. Because no rescue. You wouldn't get you wouldn't put your foot in there. Wow. You wouldn't put your foot in. And that's another shot of the beach. And another shot of the beach. I mean you can see those rollers coming up. And these islands, when you walk on these islands, you walk along. And there are crabs everywhere. The little tiny ones? About silly. And as you walk along, they all rush into the sea. And as you pass, they all rush That's out That's like again. in the Maldives. Yeah. Yeah. Then tell me, Graham, why did you go there? What, what, what was the purpose of going there? The purpose of going there? was obviously to fix up these transmitters uh, and wireless receivers and that sort of equipment. So that when they did the next bomb test, uh, this place uh, would have the facilities for doing certain things. Uh, this Molden Island was where they dropped the first H bomb. Then they started to drop them on Christmas Island. But let me see. So that's a, a booby, I think. Boobies. Ah, and here we are, <laughs> being <laughs> proud chaps in the Royal Air Force. You can see, <laughs> so funny. this is it. I mean, one guy's taking the, 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 taking the picture. This is an NAC, he's the cook. This guy's a corporal. This guy's an SAC. And myself, with this guy here, we're two JTs. Do you have a pair, do you have underpants and ties? No, we have swimming trunks. Oh, swimming trunks. I thought it was underpants. <laughs> no, obviously, I'm we wearing hats. But no, we're swimming trunks. Because what we do, when we were on duty, we wore swimming trunks all day long. And the only time we took them off is when we went for a swim in the evening. Uh, so that's that. And this is the island. This is the only real place of accommodation that we have. This area here is the only place. That's, where, that, that's where you lived? No, no. Um, I'll show you moment where we live. But here's the water tank and obviously various other facilities. We've seen there's not a tree in sight. No trees there. 
these are the original um, containers that um, filmed the H bomb, which was dropped there um, before we went. And here's we had a lagoon, that lagoon where this area in the centre of the island, which was all the coral had been chipped around, so you'd get in there for your swim. And of course, it, uh, the water as the tide changed, it changed slightly. It doesn't much change in the tide, tell you the truth. But you wouldn't go there in the afternoon, in the evening, because the water is so hot, as you can imagine. Yeah. So we went there, and um, there I am in my uniform. Because it, I think I might even have a camera around my neck. Yeah. There. Yeah. That's it. Um, I, was, I was 20. Yeah. And you can see the island, not a tree on the island, not a tree. And that's me naked diving into that pool I was telling you about. Who took the picture? With your Who camera? Did, yes, yes, somebody took it with my camera. And that's the transport we had, which is um, a Land Rover. Uh, and of course, if we were late in the evening getting down there, or it became dusk, we used to take the headlights out of the Land Rover and drop them in the water so it was all flooded. No! <laughs> there you are, Mr. <laughs> Universe. <laughs> Oh, you can see how white I am down yeah, here. Yeah. There I am again, with my Benson hedge of cigarettes. That's on top of the water oh, tower once more. Bill Ben, look at it, so slim. Oh, I mean, look at this. That's your six pack there, right? Yeah. And here we are, having been in the lagoon. Yes, yeah, so that, that is the um, water thing in the lagoon, yes. So we're just drying off. You see, taking off the uniform, the swimming trunks, yeah. I'm just in that picture. But and there was only one vehicle there? Oh yes. One the, vehicle, one Land Rover? That was it. How did they bring it? They had it in a Dakota. Oh, you got the little Dakota. Actually, ah. it may have, hang on, it may have been dropped before. Because in the Dakota, we had a big trailer in the Dakota itself. Ah. But they may have brought it when they did the la did certain landings there by ship. And over here, uh, you'll see later on, there was an encampment where in the 1800s uh, the place was developed for um, guano, birdshed, uh, because it used the fertilizer. And of course the ships would come in and had people who worked there. And there's a graveyard, there's a graveyard believe it or not. Now tell me, what's this tent on the left hand side? Those are the tents where we live. I see. Okay. There we are. Ah, There's the MI room, medical inspection. Oh, I see. See if you've got VD or something like that. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> uh, and tell me, you were seven, seven men on the island yeah. for how long? A week. That's it? Yes, the Dakota flew us in, left us, and then a week later it came back. To pick you up? Pick us up, yeah. Back to Christmas Island? Yeah, back to Christmas Island. There we see some more of the, yeah. And these are the contained transmitters, these uh, vehicles. Oh, th there's some of the old buildings which were used when they were um, picking up the guano. And Graham, what do they use the island now? Is it still British? I yes, uh, it belongs to the, the Wartnot of Kiribati, what it's called now, it's changed all the names. And it's a group of islands, but there's nothing on there. There's island. nothing on there. No, worth having. You see, nothing on it. You can see the landscape there, and it was full of hermit crabs, and they would they whistle through the night. <whistles> Whistling, you could hear them. And this is a shot of those old buildings I was telling you about, and this was taken the night before. We had a storm, and the highest part of the island was in fact the sand dunes. And the waves were coming over the sand dunes, and that's a shot I took the day before, and I think it's got it right. That's from the, the same shot position? Shot, same position to the afterwards. You can tell that by the marker post here. All right. So that is before and after. Wow. And it was picking up 80 gallon oil drums and just tossing them aside and everything. Uh, so it was, uh, well, you know, we didn't know what was happening. <laughs> we had no idea. 
And there it is, you can see how the, the shake of everything yeah. after the storm. Because that's the marker post. Yeah. I was stood down here somewhere taking that previous shot. And yeah, and those are pictures of the island. Here's our camp, here's the airstrip, etc. So that's basically a Maldon Island. So we can go now to um so your main base was in, on Christmas the main, Island? main base for this operation was Christmas Island. And how long did you stay there? Well, I was fortunate. When I flew out there, I arrived on Christmas Island, then I was detached to the United States Air Force up in Honolulu. And I was at, first of all, at Wheeler Field there, which is up in the hills, next to Schofield Barracks, as seen in the film from here to eternity. Yeah, Schofield Barracks, where you know um, uh, Frank Sinatra gets thrown into the stockade. Well, that, uh, and he escapes. Well, that was uh, at where we were. I've been round it and had a look at it. And then we got transferred down to Hickam Field, which is the uh, uh, main airport for Oahu. It's a civilian airport now. So tell me, 20 years old, Yes. In the middle of the world, what what did you think? Well, do you think you were lucky to be able oh, to yes, explore it? Sure. You, we didn't have anything like it. When you, was when you went to service, you volunteered. Yes, it did. Yeah, after yeah. national service. Yeah, but what happened was um, when we went to Honolulu, we couldn't believe it. Uh, the food that they had, they had for breakfast fresh pineapple, things like that, which you, never saw. which you never saw, because we never had it, it was rationing all the time. Oh my goodness. And we yeah, had it this, yeah, pineapples, and we had, they used to have about half a dozen different types of milk. They'd have um, sour cream milk or something, and chocolate milk, and all this sort of thing. And you could have as many, and there were these big freezers, like you have in, um, fridges that you have in the supermarket, we've never seen anything like this. We couldn't believe it. And we would go in there, how many eggs do you want? How would you like eggs them fried? Sunny, sunny side up, all this sort of thing. How much bacon do you want? How much this do you want? You could have everything. Terrific. Tell me, did you meet any of the seven guys ever again after you left? In, in actual fact, you remember the guy who was on the extreme right? Yeah. I spoke to him on the telephone once. Really? Yeah, I was at a, at a camp in Shawbury and we were working and uh, we were, I think we were trying to do triangulation. That's where you get three category direction stations all aligned on the aircraft so you can tell where, exactly where the aircraft is. I mean, this is all primitive stuff. In it was high tech stuff then, but oh. today it's, you know, nothing. And I'm on the line to this guy. And it works out that he was the guy I was speaking to. And tell me, did you tell your parents where you are? What did well, they yeah, think? Well, they knew where it was, yeah. What, yeah. What, what did they think when you got to say, told them you're going to Honolulu? Well, I mean, I don't know really. Because I just, my father died in 56. I was there in 50, 57. Oh, I see. Yeah. And tell me, I had, I believe that you had the pleasure of meeting a celebrity. Okay, okay. So we'll, who, get, who, who? we'll get into a moment. Uh, all right. <laughs> yet. Okay. But, might, you want, you see this? I might have to do it in two halves. Okay. Because I don't know. Well, who, 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 who did you meet, Graham? Check, hang on. Do you want to see her? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, God, where is she? Where is she? While you were in the Air Force? Yes, this is while we were at, um, this is while uh, it was Christmas. 57, 58, and I happened to be there. Come on, it's so slow. Oh, here we go. And what happened at, 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 in um, at Christmas time? Bob Hope used to come out and entertain the troops around the Pacific. Did you take any picture of him? Well, there he is. There's Helm. There he is, Bob Hope. Oh yeah. Oh, he's so young. Yeah, look at his shoes. Yeah. Oh, she Jane Manfield. Right? Jane Manfield. Yeah. She and she's got like amazing. a grass skirt. Yeah, she has. The wide grass skirt. 
Some of those pictures. The people say, who's that with Graham Hawley? <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't know who she is. <laughs>